Hey friends, it's Natasha, and today I wanted to show you Home Economics 1 by Christian Light Education. This pack comes with 10 little light units or little booklets, and then it has two answer keys. The first one covers units one through five, and the second one covers units six to 10. There is no separate teacher guide because the instruction is all in the workbooks themselves. So I wanted to give you a look at these workbooks, and so you can kind of see how they're laid out and what they have in them. This is an elective for high school. And honestly, I don't know that I would try to do it before high school because it is quite a bit of work. Each of these booklets has 15 lessons and the lessons are meant to be one day's work. So over the course of the workbooks, you do have 150 lessons, plus there are a, there's a test for each workbook as well. So that's another 10 days. Plus they do suggest you give a day for review. So really when you, add in the 150 lessons plus the 10 tests plus the 10 review days, that's 170 days, which I mean really is almost every day of your school year. In the back of the workbooks, you will find the two quizzes, and then in the middle of the workbook, you will find the test. Let's see if I can find the test here. Okay, so there's the test, and you can pull this out before you give your student the workbook. Okay. So this one is introduction to the kitchen. So we have section one is preparing for success in the kitchen, preparing for success with recipes and practicing new skills, which is really fun because they'll be making some things. They'll be making oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, scrambled eggs Mexican and gelatin salad. They're going to be learning about equivalents and calculating equivalents, cooking terms, kitchen safety, appliances, all of that kind of stuff. This is really, really thorough. So we can see, here's kind of what a lesson um, looks like. Actually, let me go back. So we've got um, introduction to the kitchen, section one, a little information about that. Okay, and then we have section one objectives, and then we go right into lesson one. And so there are some pictures showing everybody how to do things properly. And then there are questions to answer. And then here they're finding hazards in the kitchen and then corrections. Okay, so uh, then we have a little poem here and then we have lesson two. So that gives you an idea about what one day's work looks like. So let me show you another lesson of lesson two. You've got all this, all this up to here for lesson three. So I'm going to um, flip through this a little bit so you can see. So there's some equivalent, that's their test. And here's um, cooking terms here. I think this equivalence will be very, very helpful. I tend to just ask Alexa. <laughs> I'll tell your teacher when you're ready for quiz two so it, it tells them when to do things like that. Um, here they're going to be making the oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. And then they have to evaluate their work after as well. And even things like, did I wash my hands before I started to cook? Um, scrambled eggs, Mexican, and then um, breakfast baked oatmeal. And then of course we have those quizzes and then the test in the middle. So that's workbook one. Then we have workbook two, which is nutrition and food preparation. Okay. So we've got that. Okay, and then here it says lesson seven may require a trip to the grocery store. Um, teacher and student should plan for the student to prepare at least one recipe from each food group. And so the supplies will be different depending on what you need. Oh, I did want to mention in this one, it did say that you're going to need a good basic cookbook and it gives some suggestions of cookbooks there about to point that out. Okay, so I'm going on a little field trip with this one. So we got, oh, let me go back so you can pause on this if you want to. So we have nutrition and food preparation. We've got understanding nutrition, the My Plate Diagram, a basic plan for good health, and that's it. So there's only two sections here, but again, 15 lessons, just the same. And I'm gonna flip through this a little bit so you can see.
Mmm, summer salad. Here's the test in the middle that you'll need to pull out. Barbecue chicken. Company roast beef. Banana shake. Mmm, this looks good. Lazy woman's chocolate cake. That's my kind of cake. Okay, we have um, vitamins here. And this could be really helpful. Got a glossary and then our quizzes. All right, so that's book two. Now let's take a look at book three, which is food shopping and kitchen organization. So the contents, shopping for food. Section two, more about shopping for food. And number three, efficient kitchen organization. I think I need help with that one. I think I should go through this course. All right, so you will need grocery store advertisements, okay? Um, and you might need to call a grocery store or grocery store visits. Okay, so you might have to go back to the grocery store for this one. All right, so we got shopping for food, stretching your food dollars, plan ahead, the savvy shopper, there's the test in the middle, Oh, you're going to be comparing prices at a convenience store, locally owned store, large national chain, bulk food store, and discount store. That is great. That's a fun activity. Kitchen organization here. Oh, so they're going to even plot this out. I like that. All right. Then there are quizzes in the back. Okay. Number four is meal planning, preparation, and presentation. So we got the contents here, planning menus, meal organization and preparation, and meal preparation. And let's see, what are we going to need here? Okay, so your menu choices will determine what supplies you need. So we're gonna be planning. Oh, they're gonna be planning a balanced menu. That's great. Some more recipes. Love that. Do some cooking. Okay. We're going to learn about setting the table, having guests over, thank you cards. That's awesome. Okay. Then of done with the cooking we move into sewing in book five getting ready to sew so we've got textiles sewing tools and learning to use the sewing machine okay so supplies needed so you'll need to go to a fabric store and pick up scraps thread sewing machine a darning needle a yardstick sewing gauge and materials for comforter project huh and you may want to have this Reader's Digest Complete Guide to Sewing Book. Okay, so they're going to be learning about textiles before they even, even begin to sew. Trip to the fabric store, sewing tools. There's the test. They're gonna make a small comforter. That is so neat. I'm excited about this. And their quizzes, and of course their test was in the middle. Then book six is sewing for the home. So we've got developing your sewing skills, more about the sewing machine and using your sewing skills. They're going to construct a quillow and patchwork pillows and sew simple curtains. So that's neat. Okay, so what will they need here? They will need um, hand sewing needles, fabric scraps, sewing machine, pressing equipment, pins, thimbles, etc., fabric for the sewing projects. And here's more books you might like to have. Okay, so then we've got this here. 
There's the curtains. I need some curtains for my downstairs, so I probably won't make any myself until then, so hopefully that's a project we can do together. Okay, then we have book seven is sewing for yourself. More sewing skills, understanding patterns, using your sewing skills. Okay, let's see what they need here. Same type of thing, some pockets, supplies for projects. So I'm gonna learn about collars, zippers, so getting more technical patterns. Wow. Okay, so we've even got a pattern here, so we're gonna make a dress it looks like. Now, of course, this will probably be like an Amish dress, but, yeah, so that's still cute though. Um, okay, then we have Godly Homekeeping in Book 8. The purpose of the Godly Home, the arrangements of the Godly Home, and keeping the Godly Home in order. All right, and then, okay, so we've got some more books. That's great. We need crayons or watercolor pens, catalogs, a medium-sized cardboard box, and old wallpaper or flooring sample books. So they're going to learn how to organize in this one. That is fantastic. Daily cleaning. Okay, great. Then we have book nine, Child Growth and Development. This is Introduction to Child Development, Infants and Toddlers, Birth to Two Years, the Preschool Years, the Primary Years, and the Junior Years. Now, my other daughter did uh, Early Childhood Education by Seven Sisters Homeschool, um, and that's like a full semester course, but this is just one little booklet, kind of an introduction, and I would say that if maybe your child is interested in, in child growth and development, they can do a complete course on that um, after. Okay, so I read that. Okay. All right, so it's just saying, just be careful about the books on child development you're reading. Make sure they're from a Christian perspective and that sort of thing. I think this type of stuff helps teens understand their little siblings too. Okay, then we have the last one is growing into godly womanhood. So let's go back here. Increasing in wisdom, growing mentally, increasing in stature, growing physically, increasing in favor with God, growing spiritually, and increasing in favor with man, growing socially. And then we have some books here, Beautiful Girlhood, I have that book, God's Will for My Body, Dear Princess, Courtship That Glorifies God, The Hour That Changes the World. Oh, that looks good, a practical plan for personal prayer. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna go through and um, get all these book suggestions. So I think that will be very helpful to have. All right. There's the test in the middle. Okay, there we have it. So then let me just quickly show you the answer keys. I mean, everybody knows what an answer key is. It's literally the answers. So nothing much to show here. But again, it's for books. That was book six to 10 and this one's book one to five. And it's literally just the answers. So. Um, I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please put them down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I have all things homeschool on this channel, lots of curriculum flip throughs and reviews on my channel. And I hope to see you back here in my next video. Bye-bye.